Well, hello there, motherfuckers. So I wanted to make a quick follow-up video here. So Roman Reigns is having a sit-down interview on Raw with Michael Cole. Michael Cole asks him, does he have any remorse for beating The Undertaker at WrestleMania? Right here, at this moment, Roman Reigns had the perfect opportunity to respond to Michael Cole. To say, hell no, I don't have any remorse. It was great. I enjoyed pinning that man's shoulders to the canvas. One, two, three. Now, this is officially my yard, and the dead man is dead. He is an afterthought, and I am the future. He could, and it could have went on from there. And like I said, I'm not even reading that off. I, I even gave an alternate thing that he could have said. Whatever it was, it doesn't even matter what the exact words. I'm not saying he had to say an exact thing. All he had to do was just go heel here. And it could have been a Hollywood Hulk Hogan moment. And for some reason, people seem to be missing this. I said this. I got down on my hands and knees um, for, for my reaction did when I watched Roman Reigns and The Undertaker. The night before I actually watched the whole event and did my review, I actually said to WWE, I pleaded with them. I said, you have a golden opportunity here. You have been handed a golden egg on a fucking silver or... I don't know, is that a downgrade? If you put a golden egg on a silver platter, is it, you know, should it be a golden platter? Huh? I don't know. But it, I don't know. But uh thing is here, they had a golden opportunity handed to them here. And they fucked it up big time. They fucked it up royally. They fucked it up epically. They fucked it up to the next level. I mean, holy fucking shit. Did they fuck it up? Because they had Roman Reigns respond like this. Well, it was bittersweet. You know, he said it was bittersweet. He said that, you know, he didn't take pleasure in it. You know, um, but he was like, oh, it's my yard now. But but he made like, it was not, it's, they're not saying, it's my yard now, like on Raw. They had to take a big giant step back. And it's like, oh, we have to be respectful because he's a legend. Fuck that! It's imaginary. Fuck being respectful. He's a fucking heel. He's playing a character in a storyline. He's playing a character on a fictional TV show. I think The Undertaker would understand what is it. Oh, he was mean to me in that promo. I'm not going to appear anymore on WWE TV. No! It's a fucking fake show with a fucking script. What is this thing about I respect you in the ring? Let's shake hands afterwards. Fuck that! This reminds me of the concept that they came up with Ring of Honor in the beginning. Where it was going to be no storylines, no characters. Before every match, there was going to be a handshake. We were going to be respectful. Fuck that in the fucking ass. Wrestling has always been about controversy, characters, making waves, and doing things a bit differently. Not doing it by the numbers, or doing it in a way where it's respectful, Fuck that fucking shit. It's fucking wrestling. It's fucking physicality. It's fucking manly. It's fucking testosterone filled. And instead, you're having Ro a guy that looks like Roman Reigns. A guy that looks like Roman Reigns act like a little bitch saying he's sorry he beat somebody. Uh, well, what? Do you think that the New England Patriots are, 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 are sorry for their Super Bowl victory? Are they going to apologize for winning because another team lost enabling them to win oh I, I'm so sorry I, I mean is this what we do in life we're going to apologize I, I, I mean the, the, the fuck somebody gets promoted at their job oh I'm sorry I didn't mean to get promoted before you even though I worked harder than you fuck that fucking shit and fuck that concept as I said what is WWE run by a bunch of fucking cucks a bunch of fucking weak minded fucking beta males where they can't have Roman Reigns go out there and act manly and actually act tough and impressive. And, you know, maybe, maybe this is the problem that fans have with him. Maybe he is not displaying that image enough. And maybe if he actually did the promo that I suggested, that maybe fans would, you know, maybe start to like him. 
Maybe you wouldn't have as many people, you know, fucking hating on him as they did and wishing death on him. And telling McMahon he's a fucking idiot. You know, if, I don't understand. So if you listen to the fans so much, Vince, and you love the internet fans and you love the IWC all of a sudden now out of the clear blue sky, wouldn't you be listening that people want him to turn heel? Turn, you know, and, and you did. You had the chance to turn him heel and you fucked it up. And it's not like you fucked it up a little bit. Like I said, it doesn't matter. It didn't have to be as good as I said. It didn't have to go exactly that way. But you could have at least did something. Something to make it seem impressive. Now, the mania moment has been obliterated. You had Roman Reigns stake his claim right there in the interview. Well, you know, I'm not happy about it. I won. It's my yard. But, oh, you know, I feel sorry. You, what? The WWE wrestling is about guys trying to dominate one another to get ahead so they can be the fucking champion. So they can be at the top by beating as many people as they can and being as impressive as they can and getting fucking noticed by making a scene. Wouldn't it make sense that Roman Reigns is trying to stake his claim in the company if he wants to be the big dog that he claims that he is? Wouldn't he, you know, j just relish in the fact that he beat one of the greatest of all time? Why is he not allowed to have his moment in the sun? See, this is why, this is why I like Roman Reigns. This is why. Because the company is fucking with the man, which makes me get behind him even more. It really does. Because, to see, the thing is, I know that Roman could have cut that promo. I know that, Romo, that Roman Reigns could have sounded impressive there. And I knew Roman Reigns, you know, he probably wanted to cut that promo. He probably begged him to cut that promo. But he was not allowed to cut that promo. Instead, they handed him a script. A script that was fucking shit. A promo that was fucking shit. A promo that fucking ruined him. Still going with the fucking squeaky clean baby face bullshit. Fuck that fucking bullshit. Fuck it in the fucking ass. They keep dancing around the heel turn. I'm not a good guy. I'm not a bad guy. I'm the Who the fuck writes this shit? Fuck that fucking shit. He should have had Roman Reigns relish. He should have been celebrating. Instead, what do they do? He's remorseful. Fuck that fucking bullshit. Get it out of here. I, I can't even talk about this anymore. It makes me fucking sick to my fucking stomach when I think about the fact that they, this fell right into their lap. They could have, this like even a fucking moron with half a brain could have seen what a golden opportunity this was. And they go ahead and they fuck it up because they, because WWE does what they do best and that's fuck things up. They fuck it up, they fuck it up, they fuck it up and what was that other thing? Oh yeah, that's right, they fuck it up! Until next time, motherfuckers.